So let's take a look at something uh, a bit simpler when it comes to cables. This is a cable pattern, a cable cowl pattern that I have coming out. This is like a really good beginner's first cable project. You can see how the yarn just kind of goes over and under itself. That is what makes a cable look so incredibly beautiful. This intertwining of stitches. And there are a couple of things that we need to do in order to have this happen. So we're going to look at those tools. This is another sample I want to share with you. And essentially this is a super long swatch. I was testing out some new yarn and I wanted to see how it looked in various uh, stitch patterns, including how it cabled and it cables beautifully. And so you can see that there's a short cable here and a short and a long and a short. And I think that's super pretty. And also notice how, when you get to the cable, how it pulls in just a little bit. And so you'll want to keep that in mind as you're making cable patterns, they do have a tendency to hug. And sometimes that's what we want and sometimes it's not, but that's a topic for another day. Today we're just going to look at ways to achieve this kind of pattern. And this is a flat net. Let me show you the back. This is what the back side looks like. It's not very impressive. You can kind of see where those cables happened here. But the front is stunning. different cable needles and what you're trying to do when you match a um, cable needle to your yarn is you want to find one that approximates the size of the yarn or the size of the needle that you're using and so in this case this would be the closest or we could use this one basically a cable needle is a stitch holder, and so as you're going through your cable process, you're going to use the needles to hold stitches, and we're going to take a look at that in the next video. This video, we're just going to kind of go over things about cables. You can put cables really anywhere, and I wanted to share this beautiful mitt pattern with you. This is my own design. I have not written it up, but I just want you to see how pretty that is with just this simple cable. And when we get onto the tutorial, which will be in the next video, it will be enough information that you can actually do a design like this yourself. So when we're knitting the cables, we're going to need our yarn. We're going to need yarn, of course. We're going to need the um, knitting needles that we're knitting our project on. In this case, it's just these straight needles. And then we use the appropriate cable needle to uh, hold our stitches. And whether you decide you like this version or this version, that is like uh, this personal preference. And as you experiment, you'll find what you like best. I want you to notice that um, these two, they're, they're similar, but they're different. See how the red one has this little bit of extra grip? And so that's just going to hold your yarn a little better. So if you have like a really smooth yarn you're working with, this is probably a really good choice to hold those live stitches. This one's a little bit smoother and so it's not going to be quite as grippy as this one. So depending on how confident you feel in your cable knitting, what kind of yarn that you're using is going to also play into your selection of needles. I wanna share this beautiful pattern with you from Dora Stevenson, and she just calls it the cable hat. And it's lovely. I want you to see how 
she has done a super wide design and then a, a smaller design and it plays so well together. I think this hat is beautiful and I'm super tempted to go ahead and cast one on for myself. I want to show you how she has done her pattern. <clears throat> this is a free pattern on Ravelry so I'm not um, concerned about sharing this with you. What I want you to see is that she has worked out instructions in the form of a chart. And people get a little freaked out. I know I did when I first saw charts. So we're gonna talk about it just briefly. We'll do like a whole video dedicated just to chart reading, but let's just take this in as a <clears throat> intro and the biggest thing that I want to share with you when you're knitting a chart is you just take it a row at a time and so each one of these is a row so that's a row of knitting and what I would say is you just block it off and you just look at one row at a time and then it's not overwhelming and you can mark your place and just follow and you're going to start in this corner because it's going to mimic the first working stitch on the left needle and go across that's exactly what this is doing and then you look down here and you have your key and so whatever appears in the block is what you do and so this is telling us in this pattern when we see the the dot we purl so it's purl purl if there's nothing in the block it means we knit so right here we're going to purl purl knit knit purl purl knit and that's the end of a repeat this section is a repeat and so then when we finish these 18 stitches which is one pattern repeat we just start again and so you're just constantly going across and up. This is the part that really freaks people out the most and uh, it looks really crazy and scary. Uh, it's not that bad because what happens is you get these pictures and then you look down here and this tells you what you're gonna do. What I want you to notice is that for this one, this bar goes from the bottom corner all the way over. And this one, it's meeting in the middle of the line. And so what you're gonna do is look very, very closely when you get to these pictures and that will tell you which pattern you follow. So the first one is this one right here. And what that tells us is that we're going to slip three stitches onto the cable needle, hold it in front, knit three, and then knit three from the cable needle. That's what this means. And then we're going to slip three stitches onto the cable needle. We're gonna hold them in back we're going to knit three and then we're going to knit three from the cable needle. And that's this whole pattern here. So you can see that it's a count of three, six, nine, twelve. And if we count out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, there's all of the stitches. And we're basically doing this repeat for these three. And then when we get up to this one, that's where it changes to here. And it's very subtle, it's just two. So it's slipping three stitches onto our cable needle. See, this is exactly the same. Holding in front, knit two, knit three from the cable needle. Slip two stitches onto the cable needle, hold in the back, knit three, knit two from the cable needle. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, what in the world are you talking about? For this particular place and time where we are, if cables are new to you, 
I'm just going to recommend that you go ahead and get this pattern and just download it, put it into your library. It's a really pretty pattern and just spend a little time looking at that. Don't feel like you gotta jump right in and do this. Just take a little time and, and sort of get familiar with looking at the key and the pictures and put it to the side. And then when we're ready, we can cast on this hat together and make it. So to get started with cable needles, what I would say is go ahead and just pick up a selection of different needles. They're not that expensive. You'll have them on hand and you can work with them and try them and see what, what you like. Um, and people who are super advanced are able to do this kind of knitting without even using a cable needle. I always use a cable needle myself, but there are lots and lots of people who don't use them at all. So, you know, you're just gonna have to find your way with that over time. Knitting is, is a process where we, we learn as we go and we find out what we like and what we don't like to do. So for today, um, just go over to your craft store, get your selection of cable needles, and then you'll have them and we will do a little practice with cables.